I'm gonna show you how to make creamy, buttery, garlic mashed potatoes. Check this out. Hey everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Garlic mashed potatoes are definitely special enough for Thanksgiving dinner, but it's easy enough to make tonight. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's so simple. Let's get started. You'll need four pounds of potatoes. And by the way, by the way, wait a minute. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more great recipes and tips. So we're using a Yukon gold potatoes. These are a waxier potato and they come out super creamy and they have just this natural buttery flavor to them. That's why they're my favorite for these garlic potatoes. First, rinse them, then peel. Peel the skins away from you going around the potato and making sure to remove any dark spots. There's two kinds of potato peelers, this standard type or a Y shape. I'll link to my favorite peeler in the notes, but I'd love to hear about which kind you use. Once the potatoes are peeled, you do wanna keep them in cold water. This will keep the potatoes from browning and removes excess starch. Cut the potatoes into halves or quarters if the potatoes are very large. Once the potatoes are all chopped, you're gonna drain that water and transfer the potatoes to a pot. I prefer using a stainless steel pot for cooking mashed potatoes because I can cook and mash them all in the same pot. Add enough cold water to the pot to cover the potatoes. Bring that to a boil, then reduce the heat to a simmer and continue cooking for about 15 to 18 minutes or until your potatoes are easily pierced with a fork. This can take more or less time depending on how large you cut up your potatoes. When your potatoes are close to being done, peel and smash six garlic cloves. <laughs> smash the garlic with the side of a knife and transfer them to a small saucepan. Add one and a third cups of whole milk, and I like using whole milk to add some richness to the potatoes, but you can use any kind of milk. Place that over medium low heat, stirring occasionally, and continue cooking just until you see steam, then take it off the heat. You don't wanna boil the milk. The potatoes should be just about done. You can see they're easily pierced with a fork, so it's time to drain those potatoes. Make sure the potatoes are really well drained and if they seem very moist to you, you can place them over very low heat on the stove while you're mashing. There's several ways to mash these. You can either use a classic potato masher or use a potato ricer. Pressing your potatoes through a ricer is the best way to ensure you have zero lumps in your mashed potatoes. My favorite way to mash up potatoes is using an electric hand mixer, but really you can use any method you prefer. Also, make sure to mash your potatoes right away while they're hot. This helps to prevent the potatoes from turning gummy. Coarsely mash up your potatoes. They don't have to be perfect at this point. We're gonna add the steaming hot garlic milk. I like to use a small strainer to make sure the garlic cloves don't get into the mashed potatoes and add the hot milk to your desired consistency. I add the full one and a third cups of whole milk for four pounds of potatoes because I love super creamy mashed potatoes. Continue mashing the potatoes until they're fully smooth and creamy, then stop mixing. You don't wanna over mix your potatoes. Also use a spatula to scrape the sides and bottom of the pot to make sure you didn't miss any chunks of potatoes. To finish the potatoes, add eight tablespoons of softened unsalted butter, along with one fourth cup of sour cream and one and a half teaspoons of salt or salt to taste. All right, once they are whipped and creamy, they are done and it's time to serve. And here's a great tip. If you're not gonna serve these immediately after you make them, it's a good idea to mash them up at the stove over very low heat. That way the potatoes stay hot and steamy until you're ready to serve them. All right. <laughs> Little sample for the cook. <laughs> Before the taste test, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, just a couple little things for garnish that will take these potatoes over the top. Let me show you. 
I'm gonna put them in a serving bowl. Complicated. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Now to garnish this because I'm excited for mashed potatoes. I, I don't know about you, but I get this craving for mashed potatoes that doesn't go away until I make them. <laughs> All right, so I love to put on some softened butter over the top while the potatoes are hot so it can kind of melt over the potatoes and it kind of keeps them from drying out. All right, here we go. I just find that little bit of melted butter over the top of mashed potatoes to be completely irresistible. Okay, a little more. Okay, and some freshly chopped chives. It adds that little pop of color and chives go really well with garlic and with sour cream. So it's a really good complimentary flavor. Lots of chives and look at that butter getting all melty in there. Ooh. <laughs> I'm excited because I get to have some homemade mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes, and it's time for the taste test. I'm gonna dive right into this while it's hot, creamy, whipped and buttery. Mm. <laughs> really doesn't get any better. Okay, here we go. I need a bigger taste test than that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. This has like beautiful garlic flavor laced throughout the whole thing, but it's not overpowering. It's just so much flavor. Oh, and then you can really taste the butter. I love using softened butter because I feel like it gives the potatoes more flavor than melting it. And those chives, <laughs> such a treat. Really just that little bit of garnish really goes a long way. And it really brings out the sour cream in the potatoes. You can taste it even though there's only a quarter cup in here. It just adds so much amazing flavor. If you've never added sour cream to your potatoes, it is a must try. Oh, these are fabulous. Oh, they're so good for any special occasion, really. They taste like very decadent, even though there's not a ton of butter in this, but wow. Make sure to try this with our Instant Pot chicken and gravy. The gravy over these mashed potatoes is like next level. You're gonna love it. Or these are also really good with our juicy roast turkey for the holidays. Oh wait, 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 but the, the, one more thing. These are excellent. If you have leftovers, make sure to try our mashed potato pancakes. They're so good, so easy, and a genius way to use leftover mashed potatoes. Okay, I think that's it for now. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Bye.